Hello there everyone, it's SharnySparky14 and welcome back to more Summoner's War. So, this is going to be another Awaken video because I have actually collected enough essences once again to do another Awaken. I love these Awakens. So cool. Before that though, we have some stuff to do. First off, collect our mana, as always. And we have a daily wish, so let's go ahead and do it. Hopefully I get something really awesome. I know I say that every single time, but seriously, we need something great. I mean, I've gotten one thing besides the generic garbage items once. Oh, I can land the 5,000. Damn it, so close to that damn scroll. The mystical scroll, oh well. Oh man, this sucks. Okay, challenges. So I did some stuff off screen. I beat the Hydeni Ruins boss three times, and I did this uh, without losing any monsters against the Hydeni Ruins boss. So pretty good challenges, I guess. Anyways, um, I'm going to be buying, let me go to the shop, I'm going to buy something from the glory shop, another building, this time the mysterious plant. Mysterious plant, a strange organism that looks like a plant that, yeah, so energy production speed plus 3%, definitely could use this overall. Our energy comes back a little bit quicker, 3% faster, I mean, it barely makes any difference, but still, every bit counts sometimes. And I'm just going to place it right there, whatever. I'm just placing all these buildings over here. <laughs> All these that produce or help, whatever. Oh yeah, I got a crystal there. The only one that isn't like that would probably be the Temple of Wishes and this thing, the Fuse Center. But I figured to just put them there. Over here now it's just the uh, the forest by itself. And then over here I have my all my starter buildings and my arena. Oh look, I got attacked again. And defense failed. Shoot, I'm failing so much in defenses. What do you have? Oh, this one's actually... So okay, see what I noticed? Uh, I know I said this in the past video. See, like that, look at that. A lot of people have those very easy ones that I can just get glory off of. I'll do that off screen though. I don't want to waste too much time on that. Let's take a look at the shop even though I most likely will not buy anything. Um, no. What I'm going to do though is... Okay, first of all, let's go to monsters because I want to show something off. I actually have more runes. Not for you, but for him. Minutoros. I actually transferred the ones from the priests over. Actually, not number four yet, but... I got number three, I believe, just recently, and then I transferred number two over to this one because he needs the HP percentage of the energy. Whereas the Apicion Priest, I need to give her the attack percentage. I'm going to give her all energies, but attack percentage to the energies that are in slots two, four, and six. That way she has one, two, four, and six attack, and then three has to be defense, and five has to be HP. I think that seems like a better thing, so that means this one, energy for rune four. I'm going to transfer it over here to you, eventually. The thing is, I don't want to do it right now because I need mana to actually summon and power up because I'm going to be doing that in this video once again. And let me just tell you, it fails a lot from the improving the runes, from even from 6 to 9. Oh my god, it was... Do you realize how, much, how, many, how many mana stones I wasted on these things getting into plus 9? That's plus 9, I cannot imagine. How difficult it is to get something to plus 15. I'm gonna keep them at plus 9 for a very 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 long time but again I'm only doing this to the energy runes I mean to all runes that are done for example this one done attack percentage would have been better there but whatever it's fine having just one that gives a basic attack stat but the other ones need to be percentages but they have to be four star runes anyways all done with that so now it's time for the thing I was going to do go to monsters come over here to the Amazon and look at this. Oh yeah. Runes are perfect. 15. I need 10 of those. I have 21. I would have 21 extras. Uh, 10 of those and I only need 5 of that. So let's go ahead and awaken. Here we go. Oh, by the way, so the skill that we will get is the leader skill, which... Yes. I will just talk about it after. Here it comes. The amazing awaken scene. And... You have been awakened. Ceres. Pretty nice. Pretty damn nice. So there we go. We got series now. And let's take a look at this. 434 plus 393. Four. Yeah, see, the series is still slightly weaker than than the Sayek in terms of basic stats. See, it's 446 versus 434. So it has 12 less. She has 12 less attack. However, her offense boosts are actually greater than the Sayek at the moment. The defense of the Psyche is actually much higher, 220 versus 184. The speed of the Psyche is 110 versus 102. Oh, Jesus Christ. The HP is the only thing that's a huge difference. 
Sarius has over 2,000 more HP, but I guess that's offset by a much lower defense, although I believe that HP is better than having how much? Oh, a little bit less than 40, 40 less base defense, something like that. So whatever. It's just a speed that, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, it is now time for, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, well, let me just take a look at the skill here. It increases the attack speed of ally monsters by 13%. Overall, I think that's a better leader skill right now than Elucio because I do like more offense. More speed in general means more offense. or just being able to do more moves in general. So I might actually do that. I don't know. But I do have a lot of summons. I don't think I'll be doing them all in this part because it's a lot. 35. Let me just tell you. It's really easy to get on Unknown Scrolls if you just do the Kairos Dungeon so much and anything in Hell Mode, even Hard Mode, because you get two. Whenever you do get Scrolls, you always get them in bundles of two. With Hell Mode, you get them in bundles of three, so it's even more. That's pretty crazy. But anyways, oh yeah, I would have did Hell Mode a few videos ago, I think I told you that. I'm working on Mount Sizz, and it's pretty challenging. It really is, even with the current monsters I have. I mean, I did just awaken another monster, so that should make it a bit easier, but still. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and... Actually, no, never mind. Let's just, let's just, I'm um, summon some monsters. Now, I do have more angel mons. Yeah, I got two more. So, yeah, you know, it's whatever. I, I do have the ability to actually get these, you know. You know what? Who needs a boost, though? Oh, yeah, the cat. And you are fire, too. So, you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm going to try this right now. I'm going to... I'm going to awaken one of them, just to see, because I only need three lows and two lows of that, so yeah, it's good. Here we go. Awaken. There, done. Red Angelmon, nice. I mean, I know I've already gotten this exact one before, but I'm just going to try, oh, what, what would I do? Achievement. Um, awaken a monster, oh, that's right, I completely forgot about this. Give me my 20 crystals. Hell yeah, I completely forgot about this achievement. But there we go, all done. So now, um, yeah, time to actually summon some monsters. So here we go. First off, social points, uh, social summons. I want to get these out of the way because in general they are weaker. Weaker summons. Because they can't... Well, see, the thing is, unknown scrolls can't do that either, can they? The, the whole thing of light and dark that you can't get them with a social summon, at least that's what I read somewhere. I don't even know. But I think Unknown Scrolls are the same thing. And... Oh wait, we're all done there. So time for the Unknown Scrolls. Let's see what I get here. Battle Scorpion. Oh, a bunch of garbage so far. Nothing great. Just a bunch of one stars and two stars. Warbear. Warbear, that's a fire one. Okay. Uh, damn it, I'm full. Come up here. Oh wait, I got a challenge. Summoner's Duty. Summon monsters three times. Alright. Power up. Choose the... Cat, and then one, two, three, four, five. This is barely. You know what? Do this. Damn, that's a nice power up there. So how much? Up to level twenty-two. Not bad. How much are you gonna give? Up to seventy-three. Okay, one, two, three, four. See, it, okay, is it always worth awakening? That's the thing with the one-star angel mon. Because they don't seem to give that much, even when it awakens. See, that's a 135 boost. Um, let me see. Okay, it's 135. I'll awaken this one. But I just want to see the difference. Do that. Come over here to awaken. Go ahead and awaken. Yes. Really easy to awaken these monsters, as you already know. And there we go. We got another red angel mon. Nice. Come over here, go to power up, and choose the cat. One, two, three, four, five, one, six, two, six. Okay, see, that wasn't even, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I need, I don't think it might be, I don't think it's worth awakening these one star angel ones. I mean, not, I'm not really sure, but it doesn't feel like it's worth it. I could be wrong on that though. Level 23, we're very close to level 25, but we need to get some more summons first. So let's go ahead and do that. Summon. Get something good. Hellhound! Oh yes, I could use that. Let's do it right now. Let's do that. Power up, you, and choose the... Where are you? Hellhound. Uh, yes. Sayek. Level 30 Sayek goes to level 3 double attack. Yes. 
so I get oh challenge what I get oh yeah this one power up monsters three times I did it complete mission and I did all the daily missions once again anyways let's go to monster and take a look at your awesome skill this one's at level four this one's at level three plus ten percent more damage and all right looking pretty good I must say looking pretty damn good so let's go and do some more summons one second though I need a All right, sorry about that. I don't think I'll cut that out. It was just a few seconds of not talking there. I was doing something over here. Level one slime. And level one slime, okay. Level two, I mean level one viking. Level one low elemental, or frog. Low elemental. Sandman, shoot. Skull soldier. At least I'm getting a few two stars every now and then, so that's pretty good, I guess. Forest keeper, and we're full again, so. Time to return over here, do some power-ups again. Choose the cat. Do one, two, three, four, and five. And yes, do a power-up. And I went up to, oh yeah, level 24, 10.9%. Now the thing is, I need another three star because let's see, even if I were to evolve. No, no, wait, no, I can, I can actually do it. Yeah, one, two, I have three left. I'll have the bounty hunter there by himself for now. Um, I think I can do, no, let me just do some, some summons, more summons, Harpoo, Pixie, um, uh, whoa, three two stars in a row, pretty nice, that, I like that, four two stars in a row, another Hellhound, oh my god, that was really, that was really lucky, time to do a uh, monster, um, no, not there, what the, no, uh, power up and then monster, there, do that, come down here to Hellhound, and go ahead and evolve, I mean not evolve, power up. Begin hunt becomes level two, very nice, okay. So I think that lowers the cooldown time if I'm correct. Well, let me take a look. Yep, cool time. Turn minus one, yes, reusable in four turns. All right, time to do some more power ups. I'm on a, I'm on a spree here of two stars. Oh, I ended. That's because I stopped doing them in a row. I, I just jinxed it myself or, you know. Not really jinxed them, more like killed it. Jinxed it. I used it in an improper way. Um, oh, what the hell? You. It's a cat. One, two, three, four, five. And yes, do a power up. Skip. And you have become a 51.1%. Do a one, a two, a three, um, a four. I don't need another one. What the hell am I talking about? Get rid of you. There we go, three monsters is all I need. Power up. 2250 more, and you have become a level 25, which means that you are max level. You know what you know what this means? Go ahead and do that. So like you, and I will choose the lizard man and the two harpies as the bait. Now I'm going to go ahead and evolve. Yes. There we go. Marshall Cat has become a four-star monster. Pretty nice. This, of course, means that we now have two four-star monsters to get a five-star in the future. However, we have the bounty hunter that we have to work on now. So what I'm going to do is... Let me just quickly check. Um, what the... Why do I not have another monster there? Oh, that's right, because... Oh, shoot. I, don't, I mean, who else can I put? That's the thing. I'm not going to train any more of these. It's pretty pointless. Seriously. Pick young priest... Um, does it really matter if I put the thing in there or not? I mean, I'm never, never going to use them. But the thing is, if you put less monsters, does it actually give the current ones more experience? I'm not really sure. Like, like you know how when you battle, you fight with three monsters? Each of those gets more experience. So, I don't know. I mean, if it does, well, you can go ahead and say yes or no if that's true. But I'm not really sure if it is. Because in battles, it is. You use less monsters, your experience gets shared evenly among those. So, in here, because I have two... Um, if it, if it were to be shorty, really, it would be 200 experience per hour for each of these two monsters in here. So, yeah, anyways, time for some more summons, and actually, you know what? I'm up there in time, I mean, I could just save up a few, you know, for the next episode or something. Okay, I'll just, I'll just go up to 10, 10 left, I mean. There, done. I'm just gonna go over here and do a power-up then. Power-up and choose, yeah, you. Um... One, two, three, four, and do I have any more? No, just just use that. 
All done here. And you have reached level. What level is it? Level 7. Nice. Okay, so yeah, now I have a bunch of 2 stars. That's pretty much it. No more 1 stars. However, we do have more scrolls. I'll probably use some of those in the next video, but I'm I have other I have plans on doing something else too. So thank you for watching. Goodbye everybody and until next time.